everybody this is Rue back again and today we'll be looking at world of nintendo splatoon inkling figures i've got the inkling girl and inkling boy and i got them separately as you can see one from gamestop which was 11.99 and one was from a japanese uh, toy store called too cool and that one was a bit uh, more expensive because i guess the girl inklings are more harder to find they're more rare but anyways let's take a look at the packaging real quick as you can see, there are figures in the window. It's one of those clam, what are they called, card packagings, which I don't like. And on the back, you just get some product shots, the little logos and everything. And um, just what you can do with the figure. And uh, just there are other figures that come in the range here. And the same thing goes with the Inkling Boy. Your standard bargain here product shots the little accessory comes with and uh, the other characters that come in this wave so let's open these up and take a close closer look at the figures inside and here they are out of their packagings they come in these little blister packs and I've already taken the liberty of taking out the the little zip ties that are inside I can take the figures out And here they are out of their packaging and as you can see they're pretty accurate to their video game counterparts they're nicely sculpted and painted there's one issue i have with the inkling girl but we'll get to that in a sec one thing you probably didn't notice they're very small uh, here's a ps3 controller for scale so they're i believe they're three and a quarter inch scale figures but other than that, they're really they're really cool. They're nicely painted, like I said, and sculpted. And uh, the only accessory they actually come with is their little shooters, which is pretty the pretty nicely detailed. Let's see if I can close up on that. If it ever focuses, there it goes. Uh, it's pretty detailed. It's pretty nice. There's a little bit of the paint coming off there, but it's cool. And we'll just look at the Inkling Girls real quick. Again, nicely sculpted. Again, there's a paint kind of going, there's paint going under there that's kind of bad, but it's still cool. You're not going to be looking at it from close up uh, most of the time, anyways. They come, they do have articulation, um, not too much, but he can turn his head, he can bend at the elbow here a little bit and one thing i have to mention is that they're kind of fragile they feel like they're gonna break on me a little bit but his arm can go in and out can turn all the way he can move his legs up forwards and backwards they can split pretty far actually his uh, knees can bend and he has a little calf rotation at the boot itself and at the actual knee. So it, it, it does kind of like, uh, his stability isn't that great because of it. And his legs are kind of small. He's got a big head that's kind of heavy. So it is kind of, it's really hard to have him stand up straight. But once you do get him in a pose, it's pretty, it's pretty good. It'll stay for the most part. And uh, just to go over his pain, it looks pretty good. There's his little ink can canteen can I don't know what it's called, but his tank, his ink tank. Nice detail on the shoes. The bottom got sculpt on them too. So a lot of good detail in these figures. So especially for something so small. And his little shirt, t-shirt right there. 
I'm not sure what it says, but we'll put him here and we'll take a we'll just take a look at the Inklinger real quick. If this thing ever decides to focus. There you go. She has the same articulation. The only problem is her hair hinders the articulation a bit. But once you get it out of the way, it should be fine. She her hands her arms can go in and out. They can rotate the same, but like I said, that hair kind of gets in the way, so not really. But so she can't really turn her arm all the way around. She can bend at the arm as well, at the, the elbow. She can, oh, I forgot to mention that the wrists do rotate, and but it feels kind of weak, like it's going to break. So just be careful with that. Her legs can go in and out as well, or forwards and backwards. They can split as well, all the way. She can bend at the knee as well. She can rotate at her shoes. Not not, not so much her shoes. It's actually her, her knee that rotates. And uh, yeah. Oh, and they can... Her feet can go a little forwards and backwards. But I really wouldn't try to do too much. As uh, the paint goes, it's pretty good. There's a little splotch there, but that's fine. You can barely see it. They got nice little details on their shirt. The back they got a little serial code. Now a problem that I have with hers is that her tank will not stay in. No matter how hard I try to keep it in there. It came like this so it wasn't. I wasn't handling it too rough. It just will not stay in unfortunately. So as much as I try to push that in it's not going to stay so that's useless but I, I could probably super glue it and it'll stay in just fine for a quick comparison we here we have them with a marvel legend six inch figure a spider-man we have him we have them with uh, sh figure arch trunks and another world of nintendo figure link and as you can see they scale fairly bad with link link should be probably taller than them but I guess that's the best they can do. Not bad at all, though. Overall, they're pretty good figures. Uh, they're not exactly cheap, but if you're a big fan of Splatoon, then I would definitely recommend these two. There's also a Figma version of the, the Inkling Girl, I believe, and I hopefully will be able to get that soon. But as for my review, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned.